Hello, welcome back to 69 Sex. I'm JB, and I'm not joined by Tito Poggi or Chrissy today or our other crew, but uh, I am joined by Sarah Balabagan, the woman of the minute and nine seconds. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Napa Facebook Live ka kamakailan? Why? In response or reply to sa nagbi- nag-viral na post regarding kay Arno Flavio at um, nabanggit niya yung pangalan ko doon. So, um, so ang nababalita nga ay si Arnold Clavio, ang ama ng iyong panganay na anak noong 17 years old ka pa lang when you were still a minor. Pero ang confirm lang nun is either ikaw or si Arnold Clavio. Para once, you, once in for all, eh, ma, ma, you know, may stress, eh, ma, ano na to, mali, maging malino na, ano, sino ba talaga ang ama, no, nung panganay ko, ano. Kaya nga, so, si Egan Arnold Clavio nga ba? Ang ama po ng panganay ko ay yes, si Arnold Clavio po, ano, siya po yung ama ng panganay ko. Okay. Salamat sa pag-confirm. Ngayon na na-confirm mo na si Arnold Clavio nga ang ama ng panganay mo, uh, ma- makakapagpatuloy na ang buhay ng marami nating mga kababayan. Ano? Kasi nitong nakaraang araw na sumabog ang issue hanggang uh, ngayon. At kahit na kinonfirm mo na nga, marami sa kanila ang hindi makakain, hindi makatulog, Hindi alam ko anong gagawin sa buhay nila. Yun lang po, inaamin ko na si Arnold Clavio po yung tatay ng panganay ko pong anak. Pero si Arnold pala talaga eh, no? Napakabait naman po yung Arnold. Ano? At um, yun na nga po, hindi ko po, ayun uh, po pala. Yun po pala! Um, so, kaya po kami naging close. So, kuya-kuya po yung tao ko. Ngayon, sa lahat ng mga kak- nakakakilala, personally kay Arnold Clavio, alam niyo po kung gano'n po siya kasimpol. Ano? Uh, hindi lang po yung mukha niya, kung hindi po, eh, uh, yung, yung talagang, yung sense of humor niya, kahit kung iyak ako, kahit malukot ako, napapatawa niya po ako. So, just imagine po, no, nagaling ako sa kulungan, kung gano'n po ako ka-vulnerable niya. Kaya yung kuyang mukha, galing ka sa kulungan, parang nasaktan ako para kay Igan. Kaya po, once and for all, yan po, ang totoo po yun, sa akin, ang Um, tatay po ng panganay ko. May gusto ka pa bang i-share tungkol sa inyong pag-uulayaw ni Igan? Tama ba? Pag-uulayaw. Hmm? May pagkakataon ba na parang merong puppet play, merong finger or kamay na nakasuot sa? So marami pa po ang kwento pero ayaw ko pong ikwento ngayon. Ano? Corny naman! Alam niyo po, pagmula na magkaroon po kami ng relasyon ni Arnold, ang payo niya sa atin ang walang aminan. Yun agad yung ano. Kahit ano mangyari, huwag ka na amin. So yun naman po, I was 17 years old nung panahon yun. So, after 21, 22 years, pag kinausap mo at inayos mo ang batas, ay, pwede na pala ikaw paglabas at umamin ng katotohanan. Nung makausap ko po ang, ang uh, asawa ko, at uh, nagbigay ng gossip na sa akin. So, that's the time naman po na kinausap ko yung nanay ko sa Mindanao at uh, maging mga kapat, uh, kapatid ko. At uh, ganun din po ang response nila. Mayroon po ako yung gossip na sa kanila na magsalita na for once and for all. Nagbigay ba ng go signal si Arnold o ang anak niyo? Um, um, okay lang. So, Kaya ko din po uh, gustong gawin ito dahil naisip ko nga po yung mga anak ko, no? Uh, hindi naman po habang panahon ay buhay ako para sagutin at itama kung ano yung mga uh, tanong at kung ano yung mga haka-haka at mga chismis dyan. Ano? Uh, so, naisip ko po yung mga anak ko. Paano pag wala na ako dito sa mundo, no? At uh, na, tapos hindi ko ito itinama, itinurek, no? Baka mag- mamaya maging multo pa ito sa mga anak ko. Di kaya baka mamaya gamitin pa ng mga demonyo no uh, para uh, guluhin ang isipan ng mga anak ko. Huwag naman sana, pero multo, demonyo, 
parang may some kind of attraction sa mga hindi ka nais-nais ang itsura. So thank you for talking to me. <laughs> um, any last words? Ay, sorry. Um, anyone else? Anything else? Anyone else that you'd like to thank? Yung uh, asawa na Ana Flavio. In fact, siya pa po yung nag-reach out sa atin sa messenger at nag-message siya sa atin. Ito ang sabi niya sa message. Sarah, I forgive you. Thank you, Sarah. And yun na nga po si Sarah Balabagan ang embroiled in this issue, controversy right now involving her and Arnold Clavio having a love child when she was still a minor and Arnold Clavio was already married. And, and Arnold Clavio was just starting as a reporter. And because of, so correct me if I'm wrong, because of um, that story, um, he was invited to be a regular uh, at uh, GMA. GMA Channel 7. So, let's see uh, the feedback? No, the statement from Arnold Clavio. Alright. <laughs> so, ito naman ang statement mula sa GMA 7 about this controversy involving one of their anchors, Arnold Clavio. Okay, and uh, meron kaming exclusive footage uh, from ano to? Earthcam, Earthcam, nung sumabog ang balita na uh, ama ng anak ni, ng panganay na anak ni Sarah Balabagan, ang ama ay si Arnold Clavio. Nung nachichismis pa lang, nung hindi pa no confirm ito ang ating nakuhang footage. Earthcam, pasok! Ayan po. So, yung balita, <laughs> yung balita ay nandito sa inyong kaliwa. Ayan. So, sumabog ang balita kaya nagsitakbuhan papunta sa balita ang mga tao alright um, so uh, my thoughts on the matter so the parties involved are Sarah Balabagan uh, Arnold Clavio GMA7 and ang uh, internet na kailangan laging merong reaction at commentary at opinion sa mga kabag- kaganapan sa mundo. Waiting for the next person that they can cancel. Um, so, according to yung interview, if you watch it, it's about 20 minutes long na interview no? with Sarah Balabagan. Uh, she was very pleasant. Um, you can see it in her face na she had fond memories of that time during her relationship with Arnold Clavio. Um, unfortunately, she was still a kid. And um, si Arnold naman was married. So, she realizes naman yung mistake. And um, she was very grateful na she was forgiven by Arnold's wife, no? And that she was able she, she was able to be given an opportunity or she was allowed by her current husband um, and family to speak out now and clear clear the air. Um, she could not have, ano, uh, she could have chosen not to do it this way. Pwede naman siyang uh, kausapin yung, pwede niyang kausapin yung anak niya. I think malalaki na rin naman. Um, uh, unless may mga bata pa. So, she wanted, um, parang, a recording of her clarifying the issue, which involves her eldest from Arnold Clavio. Na, Si Arnold Clavio yung ang uh, uh, ama. So, it's it's, it's kind of normal to be uh, scared, afraid of Arnold Clavio. No, 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 no. Um, I think I think they had uh, a real relationship naman. Kaya lang, ano eh, mali, maling panahon eh. So, obviously, they would think of 
hiding it. Kasi it's ano, it'll be it'll be bad for both of them. Why didn't she ano? Why didn't she come out then? Diba? Kasi nga, may pamilya naman si ano. So, mabait naman si, si Sarah Balabaga to, to do that. So, um, cause she could have, she could have cried rape or uh, abuse, diba? Kasi someone in a, in some regard, diba? In, influential. Someone in some kind of level of power over her versus siya naman na um, victim. So, people are now saying na, ah, mali si Arnold Clavio na, na take advantage niya yung uh, kalagayan ni Sarah Balabagan noong panahon na yun. Pero ano rin eh, I, 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 I don't see na I, I think she consented naman. She knew, she knew what was going on. Kasi, um, hindi naman siya batang-bata. She was 17, di ba? And she just came from another horrible situation na someone was abusing her and uh, she fought back. She even killed, uh, no, she killed her um as a assailant oppressor so she's not someone uh will just lie down and take it um but it's a very sensitive subject because eh? we don't want to parang um treat naman sara a certain way na parang she's she's all to blame um it was it was a private decision between two consenting people although one was not yet fully an adult no uh, so it it's really between uh Arnold and Sarah and um it's very good that uh, Arnold's wife had forgiven her probably she's forgiven both of them and uh, Arnold might have already atoned for 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 that you, you, you don't hear anything na parang oy tinakbuhan niya ako hindi hindi niya sinusustentuhan yung yung anak niya diba parang uh, walang ganun eh she just wanted to clarify na she could have stayed silent but um she opted to clarify, which is well within her right. Naman. Now, uh, walang walang anything from Arno Clavio or Jamie Seven, so it might not be an issue anymore with Arno Clavio. She he could have uh, no, settled everything that before a long time ago. It's been what 21, 22 years. So inungkat na lang talaga siya. And legally, parang prescription has expired or has lapsed. So, um, and wala naman, wala naman reklamo before then. So, it, it's just people are making ungkat. This, uh, it's, it's sad. It's unfortunate that, that this happened. It happened. Ayun. So, people want Arnold Clavio or GMA7 to make a stand or, or say something, di ba? So, si Arnold, baka stay quiet na lang. Si GMA7 naman, we don't know. We don't know if um if Arnold already uh, revealed to them before na meron nga ganitong nangyari, di ba? Kasi otherwise, and, and dun sa unang rumblings pa lang, I'm sure na GMA7 would jump on it right away to to handle the issue so it might have been already handled before so it might not be an issue issue it might be moot already so i don't know what will what will come out in the next day or two or three or week uh we'll we'll see if if um they 
say anything. Uh, I'm not on the side of Sarah or Jimmy or Arnold Clavio. I'm just giving my opinion. People kasi, the fourth side. Uh, and may, may rumor na parang Arnold was parang lambasting the government. That's why this came out. Kasi yun yung mga nakikita mo sa YouTube na may bawo ka namang palang tinatago. Tapos kumaka, kumaka ano ka. Kung makapagsalita ka. <laughs> Please! Ano ba? Everyone has the right to, ano, di ba? To express themselves. Uh, express their opinion. So, if it's in an, in, a, in an opinion show or a talk show like this one, so, you're free to express yourselves, di ba? Tapos, um, if people don't agree with you, so, so, ano, respect, respect each other's views. So, kung medyo annoyed siya sa government because he wants some things uh, improved, that's his right. If you don't agree, that's your right. Um, to, ano, to, to resort to digging up issues just to embarrass someone so much na parang gusto, gusto i-cancel eh. Tanggalin sa unang hear it, tanggalin sa, sa GMA7 and his other shows. If that's your opinion, fine. I respect that. People will respect that. Pero if ano, if if the issue is no longer an issue to the main parties involved, the actual parties involved, then I don't see I don't see why we have to uh, want to cancel someone. Uh, in the states, parang kunarin, there's this, there's an actor in the Flash series that was fired because. He had uh, tweets from years ago that can be misconstrued to be, I don't know, kung, kung racist or whatever negative thing. Diba? So parang, a lot of things bite us. Things that we, we've done before. Pero, I mean, we've all done bad stuff before. And What's, what's important is, did we learn from our mistakes? Did we try to correct our mistakes? Have we learned from those lessons? Are we trying our best to be better people now? Diba? So, that's my take on it. Um, just just do continue to do good. Do what good you can. That's my philosophy. And uh, always try to be better. If you can't, apologize and try to be try to be better I think that's it so thanks for watching this uh, episode of 69 sex uh, we'll have more for you uh, on on our channel third player and uh, again this is JB in behalf of Tita Poggy and Prizzy uh, Mark and and uh, other guests uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, be safe and be good. Bye.